All right, guys, so I got asked how I apply certain textures to a certain part of everything. And, um, well, it's pretty simple. Click the face that you want. Say, we want this to be the cabin wall, which it is. We're going to go to uh, Assign Favorite Material. We're going to click a Lambert because we don't want any of that funny other stuff, right? And that will automatically assign everything to it. Then you right click again and go to material attributes. As you can see, it's cabin wall. Make sure you rename it. So then when you decide to do this, export all, cabin final, yes. When we decide to go into a substance painter, I believe I have steam open. Do I not? No, I do not. Why? Why do I never have steam open? we can use the textures that we assign for each and everything on the model to paint individual parts. And I, oh, other people commented on my photo, that's cool. All right, so we're launching Substance Painter right now. Pops up right as it close the other thing. And we're going to bring it in by clicking New. And we're going to go to here, Maya Projects, Cabin Final. So here we are, everything in one place. You can see on the side we got cabin, wall, cobble, chimney, deck, door, door frame, door handle, glass, pillars, railings, roofs, side roofs, top, under roof, under roof, sorry, uh, window wood and window beams. So that's everything that I have going on here. And this this has no smoothing whatsoever applied to it. This is just a straight up object like it was made out of wood. You can see we have no bottom, but we do have the top because I got rid of those extra polys. And uh, let's start with the cabin uh, wall. See, there's this button here. It's called Substance Share. Oh, that's Substance Source now. Sorry, Substance Share. We're going to log in. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for log okay or wood oh that's a good wooden fence right there wooden shingles we're gonna grab that one because I do need wooden shingles we're gonna open the file and I need to drag this here. We got to go here. And that needs to be there. See, this is where I drag all of my stuff. So we're going to just drag that in there. And say we wanted to make this not a log cabin. Uh, I would use the old planks here. Download that. Open that up. And we take wooden shingles and wooden planks. We go to materials. We drag them in. Now we have to define what these are. So we're going to put it in the shelf. It's just a base material and import. And as long as it doesn't crash, we're good to go. So we got old planks. So we're going to go to the roof. Drag and drop. Now, as you can see, uh, oh, that's the old planks. My bad. Sorry about that. Single shingles. And there we go. And the only problem is it's messed up on that one side, but 
we do this. It's reverse there. It's a reverse there. So we actually do have to adjust that. For now, I'm just going to go 90 and leave it like that. Let's go find it where that is. So the front part is problematic. And we're going to find out where that is in the UV space, of course. So that's it all right there. I need it to go down. All right, we should be good now, hopefully. Export all. No. Yeah, right there. And bring in. And if we want to reload this, it's simple. We just go here and reopen what we just did. But as you can see, it's still not the way that I want. We're going to go to proof and. For now, we're just going to enable this. And click zero. Actually, we do a complete 180. The shingles are good on that side, but they're not good on that side. So, in reality, This is what's left to do. And they would be facing up that way. And we're going to actually do this. Because I feel like I want to separate these two. Roof left. And then we're going to click here. Material attributes, roof, right. So when we save again, export, I said, export all, final. You're going to see that roof changes to roof left and roof right. So project configuration, once again, we're going to refresh and Now we have roof right and roof left. So we click here, click here. It goes away. So now that can be done like that. Actually, zero. No, oh, right. I have to 180 it. There, we have that one done. And on roof left, thankfully, we don't have to worry about this crap because we now have a proper roof. My screw ups, I ought to love them sometimes. So, roof left and right are done. Now, this is only a 1K texture. I have to work in 1K because when we export, we can export in 4 or 8K or even 2K. I suggest 2K. Um, the things that we're not going to see on the roof can remain 1K, but we do need to deal with the UV scale. So we're going to put this at a good old 5, right? Because that looks right. 
and delete that layer. And we're going to stick this at a 5 as well. So we're good. So now we got these old planks and we got our cabin walls. I'm going to delete that and chuck that on. Planks are a little bit big, but I suppose we could always just do that, right? Put this at a good old four or let's say five. Hmm? That way we get a good old cabin look going on. And we still have these. This is called roof sides. Actually, it's called top. We need to do that as well. So drop top there. And drop that to five so it can match its bottom. Now the chimney. Oh, it's the chimney that I want to check out because I just built that thing and I want to make sure it's good. I usually go back and forth messing around with everything. We have a cobblestone right here. Oh my, holy shit. Wow. I'm going to just try playing near that because I want to see what happens. Look at that, it's freaking perfect. Well, it's perfect for me anyway. So we're going to stick that at four. Now... The reference I got for that chimney is right here. It's one made out of stone. Look at all these stone chimneys. That one. They got that one. That one's pretty nifty. I like that style, though. So that's the one I decided to do. So now you're probably wondering about the beams. Where are the beams? Wooden beams right here. Well... I wonder, do I have any... I need to go get a different wood. So we're going to minimize all of this. And we need to go back into substance source. No. Did I close the other thing? I did. Okay, we're going to go back into substance share. Do I have another message? Yeah, we're just going to ignore that for now. We're gonna search wood. Not wolf. God damn it. Wood. We're gonna find something that will definitely. It wants me to click it. It wants me to click it. And I want to click it because it's Viking wood. What the hell is this type of file? Can I actually just drag and drop that in? My downloads. Type. Where is it? It's okay, we're going to try to drag that in. Here we go. It's a smart material. All right, shelf, import. Oh, wow, they, they even have smart materials. That's pretty cool. And I need to click here. Oh, that's pretty nifty. It's got them random things going on. I do like it, but the color's wrong. I suppose we can change that. That's pretty cool. But we get rid of that. And go down to wood. Well, not bad. I might decide to not keep that because I'd rather have th this. Delete that. 
Wood walnut. Maybe wood chest, because that's a little bit too dark. Let's try. No, I liked walnut better. Yeah, walnut was better. So we're going to go back to roof, left and right. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to change the color. Does it let us? I hate when they always include the height sometimes. It does make me a little mad. And no alpha, no mask. It's a pretty cool cabin, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to go here. That door. The door could use a little walnut too, couldn't it? Just pop that on. Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Uh, let's go to base textures. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I jump the gun, door. Moria entrance. Oh, we have a medieval door. I can't believe I'm going to do this. This is going to be freaking weird, man. Copy that in there. So this is going to be base material. We're going to bring this into shelf so we can keep it. And we're going to drag this out and drop that there. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to work on that. Okay. We almost got that perfect. Let's go for a two. And maybe a 2.5. Maybe a four. Maybe a five. Nah, I'm kidding. That probably won't work. We're going to use the old planks instead. Just drop those in there and we need to rotate by 90 unless we do that and then we still need to go actually let's charge that to five rotate by 90 there we go we got a door going on Uh, next door frame. Why not old planks again? Let's try one. See, I don't want much in here. Let's try 0 0.5. See, that's good for me right there. There's not much detail in it, and it just sort of looks like wood. Windows. Actually, door handle first. Um, we could just drop that on for the door handle. I don't need anything special for that. Glass. For glass, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck this on. There we go. See? Nice, right? Not. So we're going to go down here. We're going to get rid of color, normal, height, and metal. And we're going to go to hardness. Oh, where is it? Hardness, hardness, flow, 
Hardness should be at the... See? Not using alpha. Um... There we go. So that does it for all the windows. As you can see, <laughs> we're good. We got a good reflection going on, right? And now we need to do its uh, the pillars. What pillars? Oh, pillars, right. We're going to go to the smart materials again. We're going to drop some... One lot on there. Let's try out the Viking wood. Oh, bad ass. Look at that. We're keeping that. Let's say these people like Vikings. Shall we? <laughs> uh, railing. Sad that that won't work. Drop a walnut. Get rid of that. Mm. This is becoming a sort of a long video, but I'm going to go through all the way through everything here. Okay, so that Viking thing is special, so we're going to leave that alone. And now we're going to have to do uh, Underwolf. This so Underwolf is going to need to be shingles as well. Maybe not shingles? Five. There. Because I don't remember shingles being under a woof. And the window wood is finally going to be... What should it be? What are you? It's gotta be a bug. Yeah, it's definitely a bug. Okay. 0 0.5 as well. Alright, so everything is done but the deck. The deck is at the top. We forgot the deck the entire time. Once again, we're going to use some planks. Rotate it by 90. So those will go that way, and those will go that way. From the sides, top. And that's it. We're done. Look. We're good to go. I know my, my, most people won't like the whole Viking addition to the sides, but honestly, if I had a cabin, I would probably build that in. And we can export it as a much higher uh, resolution. Export textures. This is a UE4 model only. And we're going to call this cabin. Select the folder. Now we're going to want to select Targa. And we're going to select 2K for everything. Now we could go 4K. And that wouldn't be a problem for most people these days, but 
4K textures are a bit hard to do on NVIDIA cards because they don't have the bandwidth to pull it off sometimes. Drops the FPS a lot. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just screwing with you. Uh, roof. Nah, we might need shots from the top and the down. Okay. Export. Now, if we wanted to add AO, we could. Uh, we need to click this channels button and add it into each individual group. But I don't want to. Well, guess for the cabin walls, we could just add AO in real quick. See? And for the deck. I'm very, very proud of this bottle. I don't know why it's the first house that I ever technically did, and it's a cabin. I could add logs to the side. Uh, I do think I want to add logs over here, right here, or right there, or right here, right there, and right here. I think it would be pretty cool. But, game ready model, uh, wireframe. How do we go wireframe? What's this button do? Projection, eraser, paint. Well, for those who do want to know what the wireframe looks like of this model, here you go. Simplistic and as simple as can be. So I'm going to take a picture of that for the guys that want it. Easy as pie. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And for those who want to see it all in its glory and prettiness, there you go. Full shadow and everything. See you guys.